Hello, I would like to demonstrate KTAMB, the clipper tool alignment using machine vision plugin that utilizes the mainsail interface and clipper to align the tools uh, with a camera. So this is my microscope camera, uh, that one is broken right now. So I have a um, very cheap endoscope camera attached to it, and this is the image. Uh, the plugin is uh, divided in two parts. One part that runs inside the clipper as an extra and also has some macros that uh, makes it easier to just have buttons. And one part that is running as a web server on the same machine or on another machine, but it is installed as standard with the install tool. So this is a camera view from the plugin and it's just a webcam that is at my address where I have the printer and port 8085 that is the standard port for installing the server and this can also be changed during installation and it utilizes this webcam address for the nozzle. All the settings are in printer config and we have the camera URL and the server URL and the move speed and if I want to send the processed frame to the server for development purposes and detection tolerance. This is one pixel tolerance. So what I do is that I Hold my printer, I mount my T20 tool, I send config to the server because you see it has not received the server config, so I just press that. And now it says a camera you already set, the camera is not calibrated. So let us move the tool head into view. There we have it, on the camera that is there, and calibrate camera. What it does is it moves the nozzle around in 10 different positions, plus the starting position, and it then calculates a matrix for it to you know where the uh, center point of the circle is in relative instance to X and Y on the printer. So pixels per millimeter and rotation. You see that it varies a bit, 0 0.14, 0 0.2. It will, after it detects all the points, it will only use the ones that are um, the best. It, the further away the nozzle is, the less the opening looks like a circle. So it's best to have it as near the center as possible. Also, it's good to have it close. And the microscope is much, much better than the endoscope camera because of the optics. Uh, this distorts uh, the nozzle a bit and we really have to be in the middle but it works and the endoscope camera is five euros. Okay, so final millimeter per pixel is 0 0.019 with standard deviation of 6.4% and it removed two values that were uh, uh, that had a high standard deviation, had offsets from the standard deviation so that we got the standard deviation done. All right, so now we can do uh, find another center. And this will look for the circle, the nozzle opening, hopefully, and move the camera to that position. So let's see, nozzle calibrate take zero, found at that position, and then at this position. And it has to find three circles that 
have the midpoint on the same pixel plus minus start, uh, the tolerance that is in uh, our printer configuration. Uh, when it has found three circles consecutive on the same pixel plus minus the tolerance, then it assumes that uh, true value. Okay, so now it's calibrated. Uh, we found the circle. So now it's in the middle middle. You see from 640 by 480 uh, pixel image, it's on 320 by 240. And we can now set this as our origin and offset every tool from this. Or I could actually do like this, that I mount my T49, that is my end stop. It's basically like a clicky probe. Uh, but because this is a tool changer, I can use it uh, uh, on a tool. And let's move it into view. And here we have the start preview. So the start preview updates uh, twice a second preview. So I can see here what uh, it detects. And I can see that it doesn't detect the end stop. Okay, so let's say that this is our origin. I want this as my origin for all the other tools. I then can go back to T20. I can move to place, find the nozzle center again. And this is quite CPU intensive. Uh, it's running on the Raspberry Pi 4, uh, 4 GB memory. Uh, but the thing is that all the IO and CPU intensive work is done by the server. So the Clipper uh, Python code is running on a separate thread and a separate CPU core. So it can run as it wants and it still works. Uh, it still has uh, enough time to process uh, the movement of the printer. Let's see, we're on take 5, 320 by 239, so we have one pixel. There we go, calibration complete. So now we can get our offset and this is our offset. And this can all be found from our uh, by our macros here we go and you can download it on github thank you